Embedding your YouTube videos on your website and blog can be incredibly helpful for increasing your watch time and educating your audience, but every once in a while you're going to run into a black screen that says that the video content owner has disabled the ability to play back on a website. This is easily fixed inside of the dashboard, so if you own the video, if you have created it, you have the power to toggle this on and off. Now, if you are trying to use someone else's video, if this will not work, they would have to enable this, so if it's something that you want to be sharing somewhere else, reach out to that content creator in order to enable that and get permission to use it. If this is your own video, you're going to go into your dashboard and you're going to click on the video that is being problematic for you. You are now going to scroll down past your thumbnail, past your caption. You're going to keep scrolling really far down because there's a lot of things that you're going to have to get through first. And we're going to get down to where it says license and distribution. Within this subheading, you're going to find the ability to allow embedding or not allow embedding. Now, if this is toggled on, it means websites can in fact be using this. And if it's toggled off, it means it's going to have that black box. So if it's toggled off on yours, it means you're not going to be able to put it on your website and have people watch it. They can click on it and go over to YouTube. So I do recommend enabling this content. So you're just going to click on allow embed. You're going to save your changes if necessary. And from there, you're going to then be able to use that link to embed it on your website or your blog. If you have questions with this, go ahead and drop those down below as we're continuing to help you level up how you're functioning on YouTube, on TikTok, on Instagram, and through your live streaming every single day on the channel. I'll see you in the next episode.